Hiya, mate. Um, I was just ringing up about my council tax. Yeah? Well, what's the procedure if you don't want to pay it? Well, I can give you installments up until March, if that helps. Nah, like, what's what's the alternative to paying the council tax? Alternative? Yeah. Well, everyone has to pay the council tax. That, that's what the law says. The you law? Can get anything, that's off. Oh, you can get a single person discount, that's off. The law uh, says that everyone has to pay council tax. If, you, if, you, if you're the of a property, then you have to pay council tax. What law is it? The law from the government for an act tax. Oh, what? Pardon? Sorry? A what pardon? The Local Government Finance Act. The Local Government Finance... It's an Act? It's an Act of Parliament. But Acts of Parliament are... I thought Acts of... I thought everyone saying Acts of Parliament require the consent of the Government to get the full force of the law. Sorry, beg your pardon? I thought that an Act of Parliament needs the consent of the Government to get the full consent and full force of the law. That's how I understood legislation. Well, I mean, everyone, everyone in the country, uh, if they're an occupant of a property, whether they own the house, or if they don't own it, the tenants of the property is an occupant of themselves, then the tenants of the property, or, if, or the owner occupied to live in there. Right. Okay, it's council tax to the local services provided by... But what I'm saying is, is, if I've got a road and I live in a road with 20 of my neighbours, if 19 of my neighbours choose to do something, that doesn't mean... I, I'm confused, because I, I, the way I understand it is that I don't lawfully have to pay that, and it seems that the understanding is that, well, everyone does it, so tag along. I'm just somewhat confused by the whole thing. No, everybody is legally obliged to pay council tax. Legally? Oh, sorry, I, I think that's where the confusion is. I, I, I concentrate on lawful, not legal. Legal's what's written by people on paper. Lawful's what's important, isn't it, at the end of the day? Well, that's what the lawful government for that tax was brought out in 1992 to replace the poll tax where everyone had to pay something themselves. So who is it that the, the money's... Who, who, who's the money go to? Witness Council? It goes to Holton Borough Council. Is that a, is that a corp... The of the borough. The Holton Council... Is, is that a corporation, the council, or does it go into the money of the country? Because the country's a corporation, isn't it? No, um, it's going to Holton Borough Council, just, just the borough that, you, that you're living in. So am I, am I right in assuming if I didn't pay this council tax, We'd be in, in legal ease terms, I don't agree with it. Would that be a, a civil dispute? Well, what would happen if you didn't pay the council tax? We would be legally obligated to go through a recovery procedure, you see, which we don't want to do, obviously. But, um, see, the thing is... The procedure involves going, having the summons and then a liability order added onto the account. Liability and, and order? And allows us to take the money from people's earnings if they're working. How? Or if they're not benefits to do an attachment to benefits. So, okay, so you're telling me that if someone doesn't pay, that you can get a detachment from earnings and a detachment from benefits? Well... Yes, we do that all the time. Yeah, well, okay, well, what if that I don't use bank accounts and I only dealt with cash in hand and I don't claim benefits? What would be your procedure for targeting me? Because I don't... Them other methods sound a bit sneaky, but it seems fortunate that I don't we use bank. We, we, we go to your company for an attachment of earnings. <laughs> you go to my company? Whatever you're working for, yeah, well, that's if you are working. I'm self-employed, I work for myself, so that's what I mean, you'd be coming to me at the end well, of the I day. I didn't know that until you just said it. Because I'm confused, so, because if I didn't have a bank account that you couldn't steal money out of, and I didn't have a boss who you could tell a lie to to get me wages, how, what would the procedure be then to get me money if we were in the civil dispute and I was refusing to pay council tax? So I'm just curious, I don't mean to sound like I'm being cocky with you whatsoever. But what would happen is then, the, the, the alternative at the end of the day, which you don't want to do, obviously, is to go to a bailiff company, but we don't want to do that. How can you do that, though? Because a bailiff's a third party interlooper, and without proof of claim, the bailiff haven't got a leg to stand on, and I'd have to enter into contract with a bailiff, and that's legal. That's not lawful, that's legal. I've never entered into contract with a bailiff. We don't have to enter into a contract with the bailiff. We're, we're uh, obligated under the Local Government Finance Act to recover the council tax. See, I've had a few, um, I've had a couple of run-ins with bailiffs and they've come with this and what's happened is initially um, police were called, so my initial concern when I mean, I've had problems in the past, I said, why are the police um, assisting in a civil dispute? And the officer said, 
well, there may be a breach of the peace. I said, there's no breach of the peace, officer. These are experiences I've had. I said, as far as I know, I've got gentlemen at my door claiming that I owe money. I said, before I give this money, I require proof of claim, which you, you obviously are aware of what proof of claim was. They've also tried waving a warrant round in front of a police officer, what wasn't signed and printed by a judge, and they were telling that police officer that they could come in our house, but yeah, when that police officer rung his sergeant, his sergeant said that the warrant wasn't real and that they did require proof of claim, and the bailiffs got sent on their way. So, that said, my logic now is, if I go down this same route and don't pay my council tax with other means, that's a civil debt. When the bailiffs come, if they haven't got proof of claim, they, I don't owe them any money, and they haven't got the oh, grant. We send them the proof that, that, that the balance is owing. Yeah, but that's you. That, the you're a private company, though, aren't you? You're a private company, and you're basically going to someone else and saying, he owes us money. For me to owe anyone money, I have to enter into contract. I haven't entered into contract to do with council tax, so I'm not liable for it. And a bait. You do though, because, because that's what a contract is. You're talking legalese. I'm I'm talking lawful, and this is where the this is where I'm getting confused, and I don't know yeah. what's going on. Can be, a contract can be can be made over the heads of any party. Can we clarify something else as well? Um, someone told me that a bailiff can force entry over council tax, but that's impossible because it's a civil debt. You couldn't possibly. You can't, you can't you, I'm telling you now, no bailiff can, has got the power to come into anyone's home. If someone opens the door and the bailiff gets his foot in the door and puts him in a position then where it'd be a breach of the peace to... For, I'd, I'd personally launch the bailiff out the door because they're in my property. If anyone come in my property, I'd launch them out the door without knowing it is. But what I'm saying is uh, I'd just like to avoid all the confusion, but it seems that you're telling me that these bailiffs would be able to force entry over council tax, and I know that they couldn't. You, could only force, you couldn't force it over a civil debt. And it, 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 you could only force it over criminal, this is a civil debt. So I would then bail this have the grounds to come in and, and obviously... Well, you're sensible about it. I mean, I'm being sensible. I'm, oh, I'm saying to... Council tax, I can make an arrangement with you to pay no, this council. is what I'm saying to you, I don't want to pay me council tax. And what I'm saying to you is, is I understand it's a civil matter. So what I'm saying to you is, I'm asking you your procedure. You're telling me that you'll get a warrant, and I'm saying I know that warrant will be void. I won't let the bailiffs near me property, and every warrant has to be signed and printed by a judge. That's the law of the land, that. Everyone knows that, even the local police, because the local constabulary is supporting us against bailiffs now when we've had problems like this. Well, if you want to write into our legal department, I'm sure they'll send you a reply. But I don't need to write into anyone because I'm not the one demanding anything. This is a private company demanding that I owe the money. This is a little bit like... The telly man and the telly man get scarped on, and you don't, you not, you don't have to pay your telly license, but they tell you that's a law, and you I'm not. Have to pay your telly vision license. No, you don't. That's a private company. If you watch live television, you have to pay t a television license because that's part of the thing. But I don't watch live television, and to be honest, the BBC. Well, I've got my own opinions on the BBC, but that's 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 not up for me to be discussing with you because obviously you, you're there telling me about yeah, council tax. You pay the you pay money to the BBC. The BBC support paedophilia. They're a private company. It's like me setting up a company and then sending everyone a letter in the country saying, blah de blah de blah. I don't require the service. That's what I say to the tele license man when he comes. You're a private company. I don't require your service. So what's? It's the same sort of thing. It's a civil. It's a civil matter. The police can't get involved unless there's a breach of the peace. There's not going to be no breach of the peace because I'm a lawful man. So. I'm, re I'm just confused, and obviously you're my local council and my local authority, and I genuinely just want advice, and I just want to know what you're going to do, because, like I say, I'm a lawful man, I just stole well, heavy... I just mentioned the procedures that we go through. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, really. But it's a lie to tell I mean, me you could force entry when you couldn't, and it's a civil debt, so I don't why, know... Why, why don't we just sensibly, you know, I mean, if you want to just pay your council to that... No, but... I can make it you're not offering. Like you're not offering me an alternative. You're telling me I have to pay council tax, and I'm telling you I don't. Well, we, have to, we have to pay for the upkeep of the body, you see. Well, that. The well, you see, five, five different boroughs in this country. What they're doing with council tax? They use the excess council tax and indirectly invest it into arms companies. So it, it isn't generally for the upkeep. The bins get empty. Yeah, that, that's in black and white. That the bins get emptied every two weeks. You can't get the police for everything. There's holes in the roads. The NHS is. Is falling to part, falling to bits, so people can privatise it. So I don't know how you can tell me that any council taxes for the local infrastructure, because all the infrastructure's falling apart. They've not even got benefits of people on the dole. There's if no. You're not, if you're not concerned about that, I was suggesting to councillor about it. That's what it's there for. See, I, I've, I've arranged to go into my. Uh, 
Well, I've arranged to go into my local council because I'm going to be discussing um, 